Hey there, Sun Seekers. We are here on the beautiful Scarlet Lady, and this is the net suspended about 16 decks above sea level. This is spectacular. Again, welcome to the beautiful Scarlet Lady. We're going to take you for a tour around the entire ship. Come on with me, Sun Seekers. We're still up here on deck 16, but I did want to take an overhead look at the pool. So you've got uh, dual whirlpools on either side of the pool space. You've got uh, a bar. Nice pool, you can see lots of seating in there. Uh, it's great to see it right now in the light, how you can see how there is seating around the perimeter as well as on the inside there. So lots of seating if you just want to hang out and enjoy the pool. And of course, there's a workout area as well if you'd like to uh, get some reps in around the pool. Still up here on deck 16, we are looking down at another one of the pool spaces. Lots of amazing day beds right at the water's edge. And over here, you do have another bar. Another look around at this beautiful, large pool space here on Scarlet Lady. I've made my way down to deck 15 and taking a nice look at the well-being pool here. Uh, I mentioned earlier, you've got lots of seating, both on the perimeter and in the middle. You've got jets, again, a pool designed for well-being. This is adjacent to the athletic club, so again, if you want to get a stretch in while sitting or lounging poolside, you can do that. Got some tables, a whirlpool on either side. This is the gym and tonic bar, so if you're looking to have a restorative juice or hydrate in any type of way, you can get that from there. Again, the second whirlpool. And let's just take a look at the well-being pool here on deck 15. Again, lots of available seating both on the perimeter and on the inside. Deck 15, this is the aquatic club. So this is more of your restful relaxation pool and space. This is a bit of an oasis on the ship. Lovely day beds. Again, lots of available seating, both around the pool. There's the Aquatic Club bar, if you're looking to have a beverage while out enjoying the day. And if you're seeking some shade, but you do want to be close to the Aquatic Club pool, they have these amazing day beds set up on the perimeter, offering pool views, and on the opposite side, beautiful views of the sea. Let's take one last look at the Aquatic Club pool. It's a beautiful pool space for you to enjoy while you are on Scarlet Lady. Separating the two pool areas, you have the stairwell and the towel station. You can grab a fresh clean towel to enjoy a day poolside. Adjacent to the Aquatic Club, you have the tune-up. This is a wellness space where you can get manis, petties, with a beautiful sea view. Staying near the Aquatic Club, this is on the opposite side, this is the port side of the ship. You have the scene, which is a bookable space. This is a private bookable space. So if you've got family or a corporate group, and you'd like to have a private space to host a function, you should check out the scene. And of course, lots of amazing pieces of art you can find throughout the ship. We're up on deck 16, and while it is a little bit early in the morning here, I did want to show you what the Sun Club deck looked like. So this is an area, if you're a bit of a sun seeker, want to soak up the rays, you can, uh, Grab one of these beautiful chairs and look down at one of the pools. And again, I apologize, the loungers aren't set up yet, but uh, 
As you can see, they're all right there. Lots of loungers for you to spread out on. And you can come and enjoy the sun deck and have amazing sea views. Or in this case today, you'll have a wonderful view of Nassau. This is another unique feature I haven't seen on other ships. Uh, and this is completely complimentary. Great on sea days, but also great on port days. These are binoculars. You can take to look and have a great view wherever you are. We're walking down Cabana Row here, or what I affectionately call Cabana Row here. Uh, these private cabanas are available for rent by the day. And let's take a look at one. We're just coming into Nassau now. And as I pan around, you can check out one of these cabanas. So a lovely day bed. You also have pillows set up on there as well. Come around, you've got a fridge, some charging stations, a little table. So if you're looking to have an elevated sea day, or maybe you just want to stay on the ship on a port day and have great sea views, you can rent one of these private cabanas, have an awesome little day bed, and you can see the privacy in which you get here the slatted walls. And you can have a wonderful day in one of these amazing private cabana spaces. Uh, these cabanas do also come with a server, so they'll take care of all of your needs all day long, whether that's food or drink or anything else that you might need. Now we're gonna take a look at the training camp an athletic studio here, one of the many athletic studio spaces. Please excuse the music. You come in, you can see some kettlebells and rowing machine. And all sorts of other athletic equipment here. Boxing gloves, medicine balls. Really great, great space to start your day. Tech 15. You've got Bike and Burn, which is a part of B Complex. You can come in and get some exercise. As you walk in, you can see treadmills. And immediately to your left, you have the Spin Studio. One of the best views you can ever have in a Spin Studio. Lots of bikes. We're going to back out and you've got a stretching area with medicine, uh, yoga balls, rowing machines, lots of available treadmills and we're going to pan across and of course you've got your elliptical machines as well. Continuing on with B Complex, this is Build and Balance, so this is a strength training and yoga studio space. Some great machines, many more than what I can show, all with wonderful sea views. This is build and balance. This is another look at the athletic club and this is the outdoor space got a boxing ring, punching bag. You could have been a good fighter, Rocky. Right? And we're just gonna walk along and take a look at all the equipment that this space has to offer. Again, some more punching bags. These are stretching tables, workout tables. You can bring some kettlebells out here or some weights and you can get some lifting in or some workouts in before you start the day. And where they have an opportunity, they've also put some more day beds. We're gonna to continue to walk along here. So again, day beds looking out at the wonderful view that you happen to have during the day. And we're gonna come into another space here, but it's associated with the athletic club.
this is more of a play space than it is a workout space. So, because uh, if, if you're young, young at heart, Virgin Voyages is going to be perfect for you. You've got uh, a four person teeter totter. Your more traditional teeter totter. You can see some basketballs. We'll walk in here quickly. I saw those basketballs. We've got uh, a small little sport court. So, if you want to shoot some hoops, you can do that in this space as well. I'm not going to test my luck. Uh, so I'd probably miss. We'll keep looking. As we walk along, you can see some nets that would be used for gaming. Wonderful little swing chairs that you can also enjoy in this space. I'll pan back around. You can see the teeter-totters. The nets that I mentioned. A little foosball, if that's your thing. This has got to be. This is a multi person foosball table. I don't know how you're reaching from one end to the next. Lots of fun to be had. So, this is again a continuation of the athletic club. Got a whirlpool out here. Daybed seating. Uh, lots of great seating here in the athletic club. Great bar area as well. Another whirlpool. Another foosball table for you to enjoy. And I believe in the distance, I see giant chess. So if you want to get a game of chess in, you can certainly do that as well on board the ship. We are going to take the stairs up from deck 16 to deck 17. It's not a lot up on deck 17, but this is where you will find the perch and the runway. The runway is the running track you'll see right here. And the perch is a beautiful outdoor yoga space. If you're looking to get a good run in before you start your day, or maybe at the end of the day, you can come check out the runway. This is a 250 meter running track atop the ship. Continuing on with deck 16, this is the perch, or part of the perch. This is an outdoor space that is used for yoga, meditation, and stretch-based wellness. It's a great space at the aft of the ship. And of course, after all that yoga and working out at the athletic club, you're gonna to wanna to stay hydrated. They have these water filling stations. If you've got your own water jug, you can fill them up right here. No buffets here on Scarlet Lady. They have turned the dining concept on its head with the galley. So this is a food hall style uh, space where you can come and there is something in this space for everyone's tastes. Everything from traditional burgers, sushi. You can see Diner and Dash in the distance there. We'll take a look at the galley. This is one of the first food stations you'll see when you come in. This is bento, baby. You can get bento boxes, sushi. This is breakfast time, so right now you can get yourself lovely fruit trays to start your day off right. This is bento, baby. Another one of the dining venues here in the galley is Diner and Dash. And in the morning, this is where you can get your beautiful omelets, fresh made to order eggs, and all the sides you might want to enjoy. You can get all day breakfast. Again, all freshly prepared. 
This venue is a 24 hour venue as well, so you can come here at any time of day and fuel up at Diner and Dash. And if you're in the galley and you are looking for some Mexican food, let's talk about it. This is the taco stand here in the galley. Haven't fired it up just yet again, this is breakfast time. But if you are looking for freshly made tacos for lunch or even dinner, you can come and let's talk about it. As you continue to walk through the galley, you're not sure what you want, you can just noodle it around for a while. In fact, this is the noodle bar. Again, all freshly prepared. If you're looking for a noodle dish, you can come grab that from Noodle Around. If it's a sandwich or wrap you can seek, you'll find that at Hot Off The Press. Again, this is where you will grab sandwiches, wraps, whole fruit, Wow, those look fantastic. I'm salivating just looking at all those beautiful sandwiches. And this is hot off the press. Continuing on with our tour of the galley, this is the burger bar. If you were looking to get a freshly made burger, well, in this case, you can get breakfast, you can get uh, French toast, but uh, in the afternoon, you can get an amazing custom-made hamburger here at the Burger Bar. You can see the breakfast menu as we move along. And now we're gonna take a look at Well Bread. This is your pastry and baked goods section. Quiche, croissants, Danishes, brioche, fresh breads, and keep moving along. And you're going to have yogurt cups, just traditional yogurt, yogurt with berries, yogurt with granola, and whole fruit, as well as sliced fruit. And this is at Well Bread. The Daily Mix. It's a great space here in the galley. In the morning time, you can get some cereals, or you can also have a custom-made bagel. There are four varieties of bagels to choose from, and of course, all the wonderful toppings you probably know and love from home, from cream cheese, and maybe some ones that you hadn't thought of. And you can have all this at the Daily Mix. Here in the galley, if you're looking for a drink, you can come to Tap That Cold, and this is where you're gonna be able to get water, juices, as well as soft drinks and pop. And at any point during the day, you can come over to Tap That Hot, and of course, you can get yourself coffee, tea, They've got everything you might want to put in there from regular milk, skim milk, half and half, as well as cream. And you can come get yourself a wonderful coffee or tea at Tap That Hot. If you're looking for a more elevated coffee experience, you can come to Grounds Club 2 and you can have beautiful freshly ground coffee. If you're looking to mix that with a little something to get your day started off, you can certainly do that as well. This is Grounds Club 2. And if you don't have time to sit down, they've got a great grab and go section here. You got whole fruit as well as pre packaged yogurts, sandwiches, bagels. If you just need to grab and go. While you're in the galley, there is lots of available seating. They've got bench style seating, traditional tables, fours, twos, and of course, this is at the after the shift. So if you'd like to eat outside and enjoy the fresh air, you can do that as well. You can see there's charging stations. So if you need to uh, 
Give your device a little boost. Plenty of charging space, spaces, both with American, European, and USB ports. It's a really great, fun space. Again, doing away with the traditional cruise line buffet. They've been giving you a food hall experience with something for every taste. This is the galley. We are at the entranceway of the pink agave. This is elevated Mexican food. I'm looking forward to coming here in a couple of nights. Just a beautiful space, lovely decor. Again, if you love Mexican food, but you want to have that elevated experience, come check out Pink Agave. Bench style seats, you've even got some bar, uh, bar top table seating. Pan around. Again, this is a great space. You can come here as a couple with your partner. You can come here with friends. You've got a big group, you can certainly do that as well. You can see that with this large table here. And I imagine at this bar here in Pink Agave, you will have a wide array and selection of the most wonderful tequilas you can find. This is Pink Agave. And here we are going to enter the test kitchen to take a look around here. This is part cooking school, part restaurant, laboratory style eatery. So if you're a foodie, highly recommend you come here for a meal. So this is where you're gonna have Michelin star chefs teaching you new ways to cook. You can do this as a group, you can do this as a smaller group. Again, they will teach you all sorts of new ways to cook, better ways to cook. And then of course, you can enjoy that meal after you've done some learning. They also do wine pairings here. So again, if, you're, if you enjoy wine and food, you can learn about some wonderful food and wine combinations or pairings. All here in the test kitchen. Again, you can tell with all the steel and the uh, icy blue seating that this definitely does have a food lab vibe to it. But very elevated, of course. An elevated experience here in the test kitchen. Take one last look back at the test kitchen space here on the Scarlet Lady. This is Extra Virgin. This is their elevated Italian eatery. Let's head inside and take a look around. Walk in, you see the host station and of course main bar area on the right and then we see some high top tables and as we walk into the main restaurant large family style tables some smaller ones as well if you're just here with family or a couple of friends I love how many of the restaurants have portholes so you do get a view of the sea as you're sailing. Pan back around, take a look at the rest, the rest of the restaurant. This is where we ate last night. Nice bench style seating on one side, traditional chairs on the other. Again, this is the elevated Italian restaurant. They make wonderful handmade pastas in here. Just 
an absolutely fantastic meal. Just some nice decor. And if, you, if you're one to indulge in dessert, I highly recommend you get one of their gelatos infused with a little bit of espresso. It's just a great way to finish off your meal here in Extra Virgin. Come around, let you take one last look. This is Gun Bay. This is a Korean barbecue restaurant. We were here last night, an absolutely fabulous time. This is a lively social dining space. You can see round tables. They just invite you to socialize with friends and family. And each table has its own individual grilling station with an exhaust fan. A great meal up here, great for sharing. There also is a gun bay game that you can play. I won't give you any more details on that, you'll have to experience that yourself. But this is the beautiful Korean barbecue restaurant, Gun Bay. This is Razzle Dazzle. This is a vegetarian forward dining space. This is open for breakfast brunch, lunch, and dinner. Again, this is vegetarian forward. We'll take a look at Razzle Dazzle. Just love the red and white. It's just very symbolic of the Virgin brand. Nice long tables. You've got some smaller ones against the wall. Take a look over there. So whether you're a part of a larger group of friends or family, or it's just you and your partner, there's a great spot for you to have breakfast here, lunch, or dinner here at Razzle Dazzle. Good morning. Good morning. Take you further into the restaurant. And one of the things I love about the restaurants here is they all have their own dedicated bar or lounge area as well. So this is the dedicated bar lounge area here in Razzle Dazzle. Not open just yet. This is a little bit early in the morning, just before breakfast. But this is a great look at Razzle Dazzle, which is your vegetarian forward a la carte restaurant here on the Scarlet Lady. We are now going to enter into The Wake. This is the steak and seafood restaurant here on the Scarlet Lady. And I will advise that uh, it is located on deck six. However, you do need to access it from deck seven. As you can see, I'm coming down the stairs. We're gonna pan up and you can see that amazing sea view from the aft of the ship. This is located just below the dock. This is definitely one of the highlights. This is this beautiful grand piano. We're gonna take a look at the seating area here as well. It's iconic portholes. Lots of available seating again. They can accommodate any size group if it's just you and your partner, if you're here with friends, if you're here with a larger group of friends. Highly recommend you make a reservation for the wake. The moment uh, your reservation window opens, nice big table over there. This is a gorgeous view directly aft of the ship. And of course the restaurant is aptly named The Wake. I love the decor in each one of the restaurants, very unique uh, and, and speaks to the type of food experience you're going to have 
in that particular restaurant. Take it back through. As we get another view of the steak and seafood restaurant, The Wake. And I know I mentioned this earlier, but The Wake is located on deck six. However, you do access it from this private stairwell on deck seven. Gorgeous chandelier at the entrance. Another one of the amazing casual eateries here on the Scarlet Lady is the pizza place. This is where you can come. We got handmade, made to order pizzas. I've got a menu here. I'm gonna let you take a quick look at that. So you can get custom made pizzas here or you can get some that they've already put together with toppings from classic white truffle, chicken pesto, pretty fly for a white pie, pepperoni. They also have vegan choices as well as options for those of you that are gluten free. So this is the station here where the cooks and chefs prepare your pie. You can see the ovens in the back. This is a great casual seating area here as well. I love pizza. It's one of my favorite meals. And if you see me down here and if you ever try to take a slice away from me, I'll probably ask you if you want a pizza me. This is the pizza place. And what I really like about this as well and what I like that Virgin Voyages has done quite a bit is they have outdoor seating areas. Looks like I can't get out there right just this moment. But if you want to enjoy your pizza outdoors, you can do that as well. After you've spent a day in the sun, or maybe you've had a great meal, maybe you want a more casual dessert option, you can come to the ice cream parlor. All right, let's pick out uh, ice cream here. I'd like to have a cone, and I'd like a key lime pie, please. Yes, girl, that's a delicious flavor. That's a great flavor to get. It's yes. delicious. Thank you. Let's just dive in here. Lick me till it's cream. Key lime pie. Oh, so good. So good. If you're looking to enjoy the spa while you you're on Scarlet Lady, you can come to Redemption. Everything you could enjoy, massages, hydrotherapy spa, pools. We're gonna take a look around the Redemption Spa. So this is the hydrotherapy thermal room here in the Redemption Spa. You've got lots of hot and cold pools, hot stone loungers, traditional style chairs. You've got a sauna. Over here in the distance, we'll walk over to that. Beautiful sauna with wonderful sea views. I've never seen a sauna with a porthole in it. Again, you've got some more of those stone loungers. Shower station. And in here you have the mudroom. Continuing on, you also have a steam room, as well as a salt room. Really helps clear your sinuses, the beautiful view. And we're gonna go into one of the therapy rooms. So this is a beautiful space that you can enjoy with your partner. This is where they do couples massages. Two lovely tables there. You've got a shower space. We'll open that up. Lovely shower space, rainwater shower head. 
You've also got your handheld nozzle. We'll pan back around. And you can see massage tables again and a beautiful soaker tub. So if you're looking for some rest and relaxation with your partner, I highly recommend you come down to the Redemption Spa and you book yourself a couple's massage with your partner. And this is one of the individual therapy rooms. So if you're on your own for a massage, you can come in here. And this is another one of the beautiful therapy rooms here in the Redemption Spa on Scarlet Lady. As the hub of the ship, this is midship, beautiful staircase connects deck six with deck seven. We are here on deck six and this is a beautiful cocktail lounge. This is called On the Rocks. If you're looking to have a lovely beverage at any point during the day or perhaps in the evening time, come to On the Rocks. Often have live entertainment, live band, performers. Lots of wonderful lounge seating where you can come here, relax, and enjoy a drink on the rocks. Continuing on on deck six, you have High Street, which is the retail area. Take a quick look at what they have to offer. If you're looking to get a tattoo at sea, you can go to Squid Ink. If you're looking to buy some perfumes, you can go to the Booty Free Shop. If you forgot your makeup or need another lipstick, you can come to the makeup portal. For the gentleman, you can check out Stubble and Groom. If you're looking for a haircut or a shave, this is a beautiful space where you can come and have a shave or a pedicure with perfect sea views. This is Stubble and Groom. continue on through High Street and as we do this is dry dock so for the ladies if you're looking to have your hair done whether that's just a blow dry after a day by the pool you can check out dry dock we'll come around we'll take a look it's another beautiful space on the ship And you can come in here, have your hair washed at one of these washing stations, and then have your hair blown dry to get ready for a wonderful evening aboard the ship. This is Dry Dock. So as we ex exit Dry Dock, you're gonna come through the retail area Again, we're closed, we're in port right now, but uh, you've got watches and jewelry. If you're looking for some really cool, hip Virgin logo wear, you can grab all that here as well. Hats, shirts, model ships. Perhaps you're looking for another pair of sunglasses. You can grab that here as well. Again, this is on deck six. This is High Street. This is the retail area on board the ship. Again, it's closed right now because we are in port. So if you're looking to do some shopping while you're on board Scarlet Lady, High Street is where you're gonna to wanna to go. We are now on the port side of the ship, taking a look at High Street over here. Again, some more retail, 
some clothing, handbags. Again, if you're looking to do some shopping while on board the ship, please check out High Street. And we're gonna take the roundabout stairs up from deck six to deck seven. This is the midship. It's kind of like the hub of the ship as well, where a lot of the restaurants, bars, lounges, in activities are centrally located, or you can find extensions to them from the roundabout. A little casual seating area in the distance there, access to the deck. It's a great area to get some assistance if you're looking for it. And of course, there's Get Lost, which is where you can book your shore things. And one of the wonder, most wonderful things about a cruise is getting to see such amazing places. So if you want to get lost while you're on your cruise vacation, and I don't mean literally get lost, you can book a shore thing here. So we just happen to be in Nassau. So if you're looking to get out and explore, come down here and the crew will take great care of you and book you a wonderful shore thing. Deck seven midship, you're going to have the record shop. This is called Virgin Vinyl. So if you're looking to add to your vinyl collection or you are in one of the Rockstar suites here on Scarlet Lady, you can purchase a record and bring that up to your room by picking something up here at Virgin Vinyl. As we walk out of the roundabout area, we make our way into the social club, and it's appropriately named. So this is uh, kind of a peer-inspired social space. You can see shuffle boards ahead of me here. They also have a little board game station Lots of seating for you and your friends, you and your family to uh, play some games or have a casual drink. Of course, there's a little bar and eatery. I'm gonna come over to the other side and we've got some air hockey tables. Looks like some foosball as well. So again, this whole space is designed to get people social, and kind of finding that inner child. This is the arcade on board. And I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun in this space. But uh, this space has all sorts of vintage style games. And these are all complimentary. These are included in your cruise fare. Not like most cruise lines where it's an extra or upcharge. So again, all sorts of vintage games you might remember from your childhood, including this one. I know a lot of people might uh, remember this one. And of course, if you're feeling a little competitive and have a bit of a need for speed, you can do that as well here in the arcade, which is just outside the social club space. We'll take you through the social club space one more time as we went through. Lots of tables. Looks like you got a condiment station here. So here you're able to get floats, hot dogs, and snacks uh, as you kind of chill and hang out with friends and another comfortable seating area here as well. I'll turn around and you can take a look from the other direction. We'll see those big shuffleboard tables again. And this was the social club. And just off the midship area of the ship, you have the onboard casino. Take a quick look here. You've got all of your favorite slot and table games. You can play roulette, blackjack, poker, 
crops. So again, if you're looking to uh, spend some time, have the thrill of uh, being in a casino, you can come and do that here on Scarlet Lady. Again, lots of tables, as well as slot games on board. The Manor is an amazing space here on the Scarlet Lady. This is an alluring two-story nightclub with a name that is inspired by Richard Branson's first music studio. It's the iconic entranceway here to the manor. Just thought I'd take you for a walk through it. Just an absolutely stunning space. This is a great spot for a selfie certainly makes you feel like you are walking into something absolutely amazing and you are and now we are in the manor casual seating area as you walk in it's the bar area so as you come into the nightclub space you can grab yourself your favorite beverage Nice, large dance floor. Great seating around the perimeter, so if you're not gonna dance the entire evening away, but you definitely wanna be a part of the action, you can come here, get yourself, your group, your friends, a table right by the dance floor. As I mentioned, this is two-story, so this is a casual seating area up there. And this is the manor, which as mentioned, was named after Richard Branson's first ever music studio. This is also a space where you can come and enjoy some shows. We're going to be here in a couple of nights to watch the show Never Sleep Alone. Interesting title. I'm not sure what we're getting into, but uh, all the shows and performers have been fantastic. I'm looking forward to the show. The Loose Cannon. This is the Scarlet Ladies Seaside Watering Hole. If you're looking to have a pint of beer or a casual beverage, this is where you'd want to do it. Of course, the loose cannon wouldn't be complete without the iconic bell. <laughs> okay, nice little bench style seating, very intimate little bar lounge area and I apologize for the lighting but I did want to take you through this space so you had an idea of what the loose cannon was all about one of the features in the loose cannon besides its iconic bell is a jukebox so if you have some favorite songs feel free to use that jukebox to have some fun in the loose cannon. Now just off the roundabout here on deck seven, you have the draft house. And this is where you can come get a uh, pint of craft beer or bottled beer, depending on the, what they might have in their inventory. Square shaped portholes, which offer you sea views. A good amount of seating for you to come and have a casual pint. I highly recommend you try Virgin's custom crafted beer. Stray the course. It's, it's a bit of a dark lager, um, but it is not too hoppy. Uh, very smooth, easy drinking, and just wonderful to enjoy when it's nice and nearly icy cold. This is the Draft House. 
We are now entering the dock house. I love the nautical theme in here. Lots of seating in this space area. Again, you can see how casual it is. We're gonna walk through here. Again, more casual seating, bench style, as well as traditional chairs, depending on what you're looking for. Straight ahead, you have the bar area. And then some traditional high top bar table seating areas. Again, this is the dock house. I just love its nautical theme. And now we are going to head out to the dock area. So this is a bit of an extension of the dock house. And I don't know how to describe this space other than to let you see this. So this is at the very aft of the ship. And it just provides the most unbelievable sea views, whether it's sail away day, or you're just spending a day at the ocean. Lots of seating, these low wooden chairs. You've got day beds as well, lots of those. I know a lot of my sun seekers, my clients, would absolutely love this space not only for sail away day, but they would enjoy this for the rest of their cruise as well. We'll just take you for a quick look off the back of the ship. Yesterday, we spent the day in Nassau and we are on our way to Bimini. This is where Virgin Voyages has their private beach club at Bimini. I am gonna work on a video there as well, so I hope that uh, you'll watch that as well. So I'm going to take you again just around the dock here. I love the plants, the trees. Just really give it just a lovely kind of feel and atmosphere. And if you're looking to do, if you're looking to eat out here as well, they do have some traditional tables so you can eat outdoors if you're coming here to eat versus lounge, but certainly a lot of spaces, regardless of what you're looking to do, whether you're looking to eat, or just lounge, or maybe you're looking to do both and spend the day here, you could certainly do that. And they do have a bar out here on the dock as well, where they can get you any beverage you might be looking for. Let's take you for one last look here at the dock and that amazing view off the after the ship. Welcome to SIP. This is the Champagne Lounge on board the ship. Lots of elegant yet casual seating. Yes, you can get more than champagne here. You can get uh, curated cocktails as well as champagne and wines. Great little bar space. Just an elegant, more upscale area for you to have a nice sip of bubbly, either before a meal, after a meal, or quite frankly, whenever you choose. Really neat looking chairs and lounges. Great little two person areas right by the portal. And this is a look at SIP, which is the curated champagne lounge on board the ship. Another way that Virgin Voyages is turning the cruise industry on its head is with the Red Room. Gone are the traditional theater spaces. Hello, transformational event space, theater space the first ever at sea. Let's take a look around.
very appropriate because I definitely feel when you come into this space, you are going to sail into something spectacular. Just love the chic lighting as you walk into this space. We saw a fantastic show, an untitled show in this space. Right now you can see that the seating is out, but all that seating can be pushed back and this becomes a massive event space. Yes, there's a stage over here. There is also seating on this side as well, depending on the type of show. Looks like they're preparing for something that has some sort of acrobatics. Uh, again, this uh, two nights ago was a giant dance floor. These chairs were all pushed back. Uh, but you will see all sorts of amazing shows in this space. Such a variety, so different, but unbelievably talented performers. You're gonna love coming to watch shows here in the Red Room. Again, the first transform transformational theater space at sea. We are now outside the Groupie. This is a modern take on the Japanese style karaoke rooms. These are private spaces that are available to rent. So if you and your friends enjoy karaoke, you can rent one of these spaces for a private karaoke experience. This is your check-in area. We have the pink room and the purple room. Take you into the purple room space. Again, these are soundproof rooms. You've got a large television, casual seating and tables. Of course, the microphone there. So this is groupy. Again, these are available for rent for you and your group. Now, if you happen to be a suite holder, staying in one of the Rockstar quarters or Mega Rockstar quarters, you have access to Richard's Rooftop. This is an exclusive area for suite holders only. You will need to scan in. Let's take you for a look around. So we just entered Richard's Rooftop and you can see this beautiful decor and foliage, lovely beds, day beds and umbrellas, lots of available seating. I absolutely love these. These are great little spaces for you, your partner, or even some friends to hang out on. I'm gonna take this for a little bounce. It is, it is a seat, but it's also a wonderful little trampoline you can have a little bounce on and enjoy. Thanks for indulging me while I did that. Let's take a look at uh, the rest of Richard's rooftop. In addition to all these lovely day beds and umbrellas, you've also got whirlpools, jacuzzis, hot tubs. Take a quick look at this one. With amazing views, of course. And as we continue to walk, we're gonna enter into, I guess what I would call is the main space of Richard's rooftop. So you do have a little bit more seating here. This is right at the forward part of deck 16. So you have amazing views, certainly on a sea day. We'll take a quick look off the front of the ship. pan back around. This is a lovely, lovely spot on the ship. That right there, uh, just in the, uh, the distance is of course the bar area. 
We started on the starboard side of the ship. We are now moving to port side, and you can see very much the same. Big, big chairs. You can lounge down on and enjoy or share with a group if you're traveling with, with friends. And you can see everything from the starboard side is replicated over here on the port side. So again, you've got that lovely whirlpool for you to enjoy. Some more chairs. And of course, uh, those lovely little trampoline chair setups. Not sh quite sure what you'd call that either way. They are fantastically fun. So this was a look at Richard's rooftop. This is amazing space reserved exclusively for those suite holders staying in a Rockstar suite or a Mega Rockstar suite. Cheers everyone. Cheers to a great vacation on Scarlet Lady.